Hey, what's up guys, Lyndon here, and today I am actually responding to a video, to a comment left on one of our videos from Casio Perger Chavez. Now Casio, I hope I pronounced the name correctly. If I did not, just shoot me back a message in the comments, helping me break it down in syllables, right? So what happened is that Casio left a response uh, indicating that he followed the steps as it relates to how to set up his HubSpot account to his Wix website. However, he was not seeing the results or the information I was looking for. And I'm Cassio, I'm assuming that you're talking on your left hand side where it shows web analytics activity. So what I'm going to do is that I am actually going to do uh, a little bit of a demo on that, but I am actually doing it with a new recommended application. So instead of just using the tracking code, I'm changing that all together and there's a pretty cool app that I found um, that's called Smart Sync IO that is on HubSpot's marketplace and it's also in the Wix marketplace uh, that you can use and the integration is a lot smoother. All right, let's check it out. Casio's response was or comment indicated that I did that but the same happened for me. No data appeared in the sidebar of the lead. And we'll assume here because this does not happen, the, there's no real sidebar as it relates to Wix. So we're assuming here that this would this, this means the sidebar for when we're looking at a HubSpot contact. What we're gonna do is that I'm gonna switch the account. This, I'm switching the application because the process initially was using the tracking code in that particular video. In this here, I'm recommending that you use Smart Sync IO. And with Smart Sync, uh, you get the ability of actually you now just choosing the application that you want. So it says find the application. I want to integrate HubSpot with um, Wix, right? So when you type in that, it will take you down to Wix here. And then from here now, it will show you all of the things that you, that you will be getting with this particular integration. So this is one way of doing it by going to SmartSync IO's website and it will show you, look, it shows your Wix contacts, it shows you your, your form submissions, and uh, this is one direct, well, one direction and in this way, and then it comes back now where HubSpot tracking code now comes back to your site and this is where you'll be capturing the data on your left to understand your customer's activity all right so this is one place to actually get it um, by going to syncio.com the other location that you can do so if you were to go to in your back end menu of your wix website you will go to manage apps or the app marketplace and then you will just type in uh, you can just you can go to get more apps and then when you do get it you'll just type in hubspot and you will see smart sync io that will come up there as well and the third location that you can actually get this is if you go to the HubSpot Marketplace and you type in Marketplace. When that comes up, you can just type in Wix and you will see the options you're looking because you have a couple of them, but three as you see, you are looking for SmartSync IO. Um, when you click on SmartSync IO, you will see the correlation between what you're going to be getting with this install as it relates to the same three things, right? So your contacts, forms, and of course the tracking code is going to be coming back. All right now I already have this installed on my back end right that is what this is here so this indicates to me that this app is already installed so let's just run the demo now to show that I'm actually now going to add one new contact into this and we'll see uh, how that contact shows up in Wix so we're going to say that this person is um, Solange Blanche and this is B L E N C H E at um, vmail dot com. All right, so yeah, we're saying vmail. Now, once you do this, of course, you will hit submit, and you're gonna get a couple notifications, right? So you're gonna get one notification that's gonna tell you from Wix that uh, you would have just had a customer submit on a form, but we are looking for that person here. So let's refresh and see if that comes true. There we go. So in HubSpot now, we now have Solange Blanche. That that uh, Solange Blanche and her, her, well, it says associated company, but that's not <laughs> important right now. All right. So if we click onto Solange, we will see. So we stay in the center of HubSpot. We will see that Solange filled out this form. And if we look to the bottom, it says this contact was created from direct traffic off of the Lyndon Braffitt website. All right, so cool, that's one. Now you are saying that you're looking for information on the sidebar. So this is the left hand sidebar that you're looking at. So the first thing it actually tells you that we got the email, email was recently updated via a form submission, right? And if it is that we go further down, you recognize that it stops right here. So let's look at the web activity now. It says 
Solange didn't really view any pages, right? Um, but of course, this is the web activity that you are looking for. Now, if you want to find more information that's here on your left, what you can do, and this is a little bit of a, a bonus tip here, you can actually go into View All Properties within HubSpot, all right? And I want you to type in something called Drill Down. If you look here in terms of the list of properties, you'll see Web Analytics History, all right? And you can, instead of having to scroll through all of them, you can just type in Drill Down. And this will help you identify where this information is coming from. So if it is that you would click on Add to View, uh, let's say you want to look for the second one, Add to View here. Once you check these two off, you will see that these are now here in terms of your latest drill down information. And if it is that we will go to, if we were to go back to Solange's contact record, you will now see that that information is now here, right? So again, I'm not sure specifically as to what you were looking for on the left-hand sidebar, but if it relates to web activity, apart from just seeing this, where it says web activity, the time that the person came, first and last in visits, and how many pages, you can also now find this information right here. So Cassio, I hope that actually answered your question. Troubleshoot it or test it out and let me know what your, what your feedback is. And for anyone else that is looking at doing that integration between Wix or HubSpot, if you just want to know anything that's happening with HubSpot, please feel free, shoot me a comment, let me know. I'd love to help. All right, guys, take care. Peace.